is so vast and complex, even the EU is unable to tell us how many laws there are covering different areas of our lives. So we've used some helpful EU databases to make the best estimate we can. Here is regulated EU man waking from his regulated slumber to start his regulated day. You wouldn't think you'd need a law for pillowcases, but the EU has five. But that's nothing. The pillow inside is subject to 109 different EU laws. As far as we can tell, there are only 11 EU laws pertaining to radio alarm clocks. There's around 400 governing the other stuff on Joe Citizen's bedside table. You can't be too careful with duvets and sheets, so there's around 50 laws governing those. There are 65 laws governing bathrooms, but that doesn't include the contents. How they managed to think up 31 laws for toothbrushes is beyond me. But let's face it, toothpaste is a bit weird, so 47 laws sounds about right. Mirrors have been known to crack and get dirty, so they're covered by 172 laws. As for the shower, well, we've all seen Psycho. Murdering girls like that is now strictly prohibited. Shampoo can get in your eyes and cause discomfort, 118 laws. EU bureaucrats seem terrified by towels for some reason, slightly more relaxed about radiators. There are 1,246 laws relating to bread, but just 52 covering the crazy anarchic toaster. Just 84 laws cover fridges. But an impressive 12,000 laws cover milk. After all, it might go off. Bowl, 99 laws. Spoon, more than 200 laws, same for the orange juice. But the coffee, whoa, stand back, Grandma. This toxic jungle juice can keep you up all night. The best dog in Britain is unaware of the odourless fog of canine legislation, but careful Ruby, ignorance is no excuse. Our regulated man leaves his regulated house. There are only 92 laws about pavements, after all they're just pavements, but you get the idea. EU regulation surrounds us like invisible barbed wire. When we're frustrated in our daily lives by needless stupid EU laws, it's infuriating. But it's much worse than infuriating if you're thinking of starting a new business. It's like entering a legal minefield. For small and medium-sized businesses and startups, it's perilous. Complying with regulation imposes huge costs, and, and falling foul of regulation can put you out of business.